Hi, welcome to the Rittner Floral School in Boston, Mass. I'm Dr. Steve Rittner, and it's a pleasure to welcome you into one of our classrooms today. We've got a neat demonstration for you. I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. The time of the year, it's summertime. And for me, summertime has all kinds of things that I associate with it, uh, summer sports, um, uh, nice weather, lush green of the vegetation outside. Uh, but I also think when we think in terms of summer of the sun and the fact that it's very, very golden outside. And so to come up with a summer design, I thought it would be kind of fun to start with essentially a golden container. And we have a lovely container here. It's rather gold in color and it's kind of contemporary. Thought you guys would find something like this kind of interesting. Um, and the container has lots of water in it. And we're going to do a lovely arrangement, and I think you guys will enjoy the process. In order to control our mechanics on it, we're going to take a little bit of our material. This is Euonymus from California. It has been uh, um, made available to us as most of the things that we're using in this video from the great people at uh, pedaldriven.com. We want to thank uh, uh, the folks there for um, uh, providing the materials for this video. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Euonymus and I'm going to just drop it right into my container. Now the Euonymus is really pretty in its own and you'll notice I don't have this in very very low. I have this coming up a fairly decent distance so we're going to actually see it as we do our designing. And in working with our materials for this arrangement for summer, I'm going to play with a combination of things. And the first thing I'm going to play with is a material that has become one of my favorites, and that is oxypetalum. Oxypetalum. This stuff is absolutely gorgeous. Small little flowers. They are very, very delicate. The stems and the flowers feel soft. They feel very, very soft. And the stuff bends really, really nicely. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by taking my oxypetalum and I'm placing it into my base. And I'm just letting it drip and droop over because by doing it this way, I can come up with a very, very neat effect fairly rapidly. And so I'm working a little bit of my oxypetalum in. And notice how I've got something going on on that side of the design. Now we already have the euonymus in the center, but let's add some more material to it. And I have one of my favorite flowers. It's not really a summer flower. It's available pretty much through the year, but it's great. And it certainly does come out at this time of the year. And uh, for those of us here in New England, when we go down to Cape Cod, we see hydrangea all over the place. And so I thought it would be fun to work a little bit of hydrangea in. Again, it's one of the things that I associate with summer, the fact that we have so much of this wonderful hydrangea, especially here native in New England. And so I've got a couple of my hydrangea in place. Now, another thing that I generally think of when I think of this time of the year, ranunculus, ranunculus. It is a bold, beautiful little flower. And I love it because it has this just very, very characteristic shape to it. It's got long uh, kind of tendrils in terms of the stem. They twist, they turn, they go in all directions, and it comes in a variety of colors. And if we're talking about doing something that's a summer design, well, certainly there's nothing more golden than a bright yellow ranunculus. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the other side of the arrangement. We've been playing on this side. I'm going to play with some of my ranunculus and I'm placing them in over onto the other side. Now those of you who are concerned, Dr. Steve, do you have enough water? Will this get water? Believe me, I've got plenty of water. Somebody was concerned in an earlier video as to whether I had enough water in the uh, container because it didn't look like I was forcing them down all the way to the bottom of the base. And believe me, folks, we've got plenty of water in this. So, and we would automatically add a little bit more from time to time. So I'm taking my ranunculus and I'm leaning them over and I'm taking advantage of the fact that like the oxypetalum, ranunculus do kind of bend and twist and turn. And so I'm making use of that here in terms of letting my ranunculus just kind of bend and twist and turn over to create uh, a shaping over onto this side of the arrangement. And this is going to be a one-sided piece. We sometimes like to do things one-sided. Sometimes we do them 
meant to be viewed all the way around. And I'm taking my materials, working them in here into my container, and we're letting them drip and droop over onto the other side. So it gives us a very, very interesting kind of an effect to our design. Feels a little bit wilder in terms of feeling on the arrangement. And I'm just working them in over here onto this side. So we have kind of an interesting thing going on there. Now, I could stop with the ones that I have there now, or I could add a little bit more. I think I'm going to find another flower or two to work in, in terms of my ranunculus. And so I'm going to take another one and sneak another one in here. So I'm gradually working from farther out, gradually working them in, in towards the center of the design. I could stop at this point if I wanted to, but wait, there's more. Let's add a little bit more to it. And one flower that I absolutely love at this time of the year, it is one of my favorites, Celosia. Celosia, isn't this an amazing looking flower? Every flower brings something interesting, something unique to the design table. And I think that this Celosia is absolutely magnificent. And because we've got lots of greens going on here, whites, creams, yellow, golden, something like this really can give us some very, very strong contrast. And so what I'm going to do is work a couple of my Celosia in, in through the center. Now, one of the things you're going to find, my viewer, is that when you're doing these kinds of designing, the more you stick in to your infrastructure here in terms of a foliage like your Euonymus, uh, the more uh, dense, densely packed it becomes. But notice how these two pieces came in very, very nicely. Now, at this point, if I wanted to, I could stop. I could say, you know, we've got a very, very interesting composition. It's interesting, and it'll stand very nicely on its own. There's one other thing that we could do, and it's something that I sometimes like to do. You notice, uh, those of you who've watched our other designing, I do like to use branchy stuff. And so I'm going to take a little bit of my curly willow, and I'm going to work a couple of pieces of curly willow in to my arrangement. Um, we have a saying here at Rittner's, uh, if you can make your designs taller, the taller you make them, ka-ching, ka-ching, the more you can charge for them. And so by taking a little bit of curly willow and working it in here, this definitely is going to add height to our design. And if you follow my viewer going up here, you'll notice this has definitely become a taller composition because of my adding that. So we've got a very, very interesting thing here. We've got something that is kind of horizontal. It is not even on both sides. We've got it coming out a little farther on this side, a little closer on this side. We've got a very, very interesting set of different kinds of textures and colors. We've got uh, the oxypetalum coming out, forming this kind of angled effect on this side. We've got the ranunculus with the golden color on this side. We've got our center part of the design filled with several hydrangea, several celosia. We have the euonymus, which creates basically our infrastructure to hold things in place, but also contributes visually in this particular composition and then some curly willow to really make the thing tall. Where could this be used? It could be used in a wide variety of places, in an entry area of a business or concern, in an entry hall of a home. It could be put into a bay window of a home. You'll notice I'm standing next to it. It is not a tiny design, uh, but it is a very, very pretty one. And to me, this definitely says summer. And notice how quick and easy the thing went together. Again, my viewer, our whole philosophy at Rittner's Floral School in Boston is that learning floral designing should be quick, easy, and fun. So what do you think, my viewer? Go out and get yourself a big ceramic container, something that feels summery to you. Go out and get oxypetalum, some of your ranunculus, some of the celosia, hydrangea, euonymus, some of our branchy stuff, and play with some of this stuff. And I think you'll find that you can come up with some really, really neat stuff. Again, once again, I'd like to thank the folks at PetalDriven.com who've made some, most of this material available to us. It was a pleasure playing with this stuff, and I hope you, my viewer, enjoyed this presentation. On behalf of all of us here at Rittner's Floral School, I'm Dr. Steve Rittner. We thank you for coming in and visiting with us today. 
Go out, get the stuff, and have a great summer doing some floral designing. Thank you.